Hi, my name is Shekutve Manzur Sassman. I have been honored to talk about Hanukkah to everyone. Um, the story of Hanukkah and miracle as described in Talmud, which means Torah, uh, occurred of, after the liberation of the temple in Jerusalem during the Maccabean uh, revolt and describes how the findings of a jug of a pure oil that was to be enough to light for one night or one day. And, uh, but instead of that, it uh, lasted for eight days and eight nights. And that's why uh, we call it a miracle. The way we celebrate it, we celebrate it with a Hanukkah. A lot of people call it, uh, they, they call it uh, menorah, which menorah is not the right word for it. Menorah is the one that has seven handles, three each side and one in the middle. And most of the actually temples and even some churches, they have it. But Hanukkah, which I have right here for you to show. This one is pretty big. It has nine candles. These eights are resemble of the eight days. This is re resemble of, we call it shamash. And shamash in Hebrew, it means helper. So this is the helper to light the candles. So we want every night, we first light the shamash and we never put it all together. We start with one, which we start with this. I put it all together for you to see how it will look like when you light all of them the last night. And especially if every child has a Hanukkah, which that is the most common way for every Jewish family, everybody has their own Hanukkah. It is the most magnificent because you turn off the light, by that time it's dark. It is so beautiful. But the way you start, you start with the shamash, you take the shamash off and you turn on first one on your right hand side. And then the next side you add two, which is this one. The following night is this one. Fourth night is this, fifth, sixth, seven and eight. And the eighth night, all of them are on, which is very pretty. Then we light the candles. The first night, we have three special prayers. The prayers that we say, uh, first night is only three prayers, and rest of the nights are two prayers. And one might ask why the first night is three prayers versus other all other nights are two prayers. In a uh, Hebrew religion, every year for anything that is the first time for that year, whether is a happy occasion like a birthday, whether is a marriage, whether is a bar or bar mitzvah, whether is a Brits, whether is a food, the first time you have that food for that year, we say a special prayer. And to be honest with you, everyone has their own special prayer in their heart that is very important to them. To me, Sheikh Yanu is one of my most important prayer. So you say the Sheikh Yanu only the first night of the eight nights and the rest of the night you say just two prayer that is for lighting the candle on Hanukkah and the other one is blessing for the home. So, since I'm talking to everybody, if you guys don't mind, it's a very short prayer. I will say it in Hebrew because to me, it's a blessing that I was chosen in soaring spirit to talk about Hanukkah. So in my own way, I'm thanking Michelle and everybody, Mary and everyone. So it goes this way. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Therefore, we are thanking God for all the blessing that God has given us. So 
Uh, now let's talk about a little bit, how do we celebrate it here and how do we celebrate it in where I was brought up in a different way. Because of the oil, it is, ma uh, it is uh, common that I am sure all of you, even if you're not Jewish, you have heard about potato latkes. This is the time that we make potato latkes and we eat that. And the way they make it here, after I came to United States in 79, I needed to learn how to do that because ours is different. And I'll give you a little bit of difference what they are. The one we make here is only basically, uh, you shred the potato and onion, a little bit onion, matzo meal and eggs, and you fry it. That's it, you fry it like, you know, pieces of potato, uh, pancakes. In my, uh, the way I grew up, my mother would boil the potato, smash them uh, like a puree, and then add eggs and different spices, and especially saffron. And the whole house would smell this saffron. It was unbelievable. And I knew Hanukkah is there. It was wonderful. You make the potato latkes and the donuts. It's because they are deep fried or they are fried. And we are doing that. We are supposed to eat fried food because of remembering burning of the oil. I'd like to read this part for you. This is, I wrote it myself and I hope that it will mean something to everybody. Hanukkah to me is about light. I wish everyone in the darkest moment of your life be always light candles. I believe in lighting candles a lot. I really, it lightens my heart. It lightens my soul and I wish it for everyone. So therefore I wish everyone in the darkest moment of your life be always light candles. My prayer, for life to be filled with light and brightness of positive energy that we can give each other blessing and light to you, no matter what you celebrate, whether you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas, it doesn't ma matter. May you celebrate life. I am an artist and I do a lot of different kinds of art. I have done some art that I would like to show you because to me, Tree of life is very important. I believe every family has a tree and all of us have a root and we are the tree of that a family and the fruits are our children and our grandchildren. So this is uh, the menorah that is life, tree of light. And then I forgot to tell you about one of the games we have and children have is to play with dreidel. So I have made some dreidels. I have this upside down, excuse me. I have some dreidel. And these are the dreidels. This is the big one. You can open it actually, and you can put a small coin, chocolate coin or something, or money in there. And then they play, it, it has a very interesting game. And these are the small ones that you put and you turn around and you play with it and each child has this and then they have their coins and they play and we'll, they'll see because each side, depending on where it lays, it means whether they have won or they have lost or nothing. Um, again, thank you so much for having me and I hope this has brought a little bit more information about the beautiful holiday of Hanukkah.